Hello, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Yeah, sorry about that. I can smell things. Sorry. Okay. Oh, see. Didn't even mean to do that. Oops. Let's go continue the story. Hey, what are you doing here? Mm, well, whatever. I was just starting to feel the old boredom creeping back in. Um... I don't know what to say, though. You protagonist here. I'll just not talk. <laughs> what? How about chatting with me for a while, just friendly like? Uh, are you gonna do something bad? Take a good look at me. I'm in a cage here. Even if I wanted to do something nasty, I couldn't now, could I? So, tell me. I've heard there's a magic hut somewhere in this village. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Well, looks like you've got some fire in your belly. Not that just anyone can pluck up the courage to talk to an evil doer like me. Uh, well, uh, um, I'm off. I'm told how brave I am. I bet you are. But I bet even you don't know where the magic cat is. Now do you? Of course I do. This here's Patch. And his father are in as the magic hat. Oh really? Well ain't that dandy. But still I can't help but be thinking. Be thinking why? All oh, this talk of the magic hat. It's just a pack of lies, right? Uh, no, it! No! Of course it's real! Marvin uses the magic hat to keep the peace all over this island. He's right. Ah, but I heard that the magic hat of this island is actually a fake. It sounds like, like sounds to me like there's a Arvin Cello is lying. N no, he isn't! Right, Patch? He isn't lying! Ah, I know, I've just remembered how to tell a fake from the real thing. I'll show you two, too, if you like. Just bring the magic hat here to me, okay? Are you sure about this? What do you think, Patch? Do you think you could borrow the magic hat just for a little while? I don't know. Mm. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So, this is the magic hat. 
Okay, so you've seen it fast enough, isn't it? Hey! Oh no! Look at that! What is it? Look, it's ripped right there. Where? There, look right there. It, it is. I don't see it. Where? If you don't fix this right away, who knows how bad it might get. What should we do? If it really is damaged, it might be our fault. What are we gonna do? We'll get chewed out for sure. Don't tell me you still can't see it. If you still don't believe me, I'll show you. Just bring it a little closer. Okay. I've been waiting for this. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear it too well. I'm just gonna do I was turning up the values. <laughs> oh no. No. I don't know if I should really be watching. I don't know if I should keep. Should I just skip this cutscene? Oh my goodness.
teleporting wolf. <coughs> Sorry, had to say it. Teleporting wolf. How could you do something so foolish? Give me that with the magic hat! Just look what he's done to the village, all thanks to you! So many animals have been hurt or, or lost their homes! That isn't all either! Bridges have been destroyed all across the island! Now lots of places are completely out of reach! It would have also rolled up the wild animals! Turning them against us! They've started to attack all trying to pass through where they live! Your foolishness this is what caused all of these problems! Why aren't I in the cage along with Pat? I was there too! I should be caged as well! You made a terrible mistake too, that's true. But most of the blame for this mess has to go to Patch. I'm sorry! I'm the one who said we should take, take a look at it, and I'm the one who pursued Patch to go and get the magic hat. Put me in the cage instead and let Patch out, please. I think we should let Patch out too. Everyone makes mistakes. I know it led to some terribly terrible things happening this time. But isn't that all the more reason to have Patch help repair the damage? Everyone makes mistakes, even you. This is what children do. Cause trouble for grown-ups by doing unexpected things. The wrong things, maybe. But that's how they learn. Please give Patch a narc chance, Ada. Or Ada, I don't even know. Very well, I will let you out this time. But you have to help everyone else in the village. Indeed, you must help everyone on the whole island who has been hurt or been convinced by your actions. Okay. We'll take it, handle getting the magic hat back from Emily. That's definitely not a job for children. Don't go gain any ideas about getting it back yourself. I guess. Hey, what are you doing now? Victor! I feel so bad about what happened. It's all my fault, so I'm going into the cage. Hatch, help everyone in the village. Okay. Hey, you there. Yeah, you. Who are you? I'm Beat. I'm the personification of the good half of a magic hat. You don't know what I'm talking about, huh? What the hell are you even talking about? Not many people know this, but the magic hat actually has a mind of its own. Because the magic hat is just so strong, it was magically in a mind of its own to prevent it from it being used for evil. I'm made from the good side of that mind. Good side of that mind? When Edward stole the magic hat, it fought back trying to stop him from using it. But Edward's evil heart was too much for us, and I got booted out completely. Wow. Never, it, but on the magic hat, I have 
had the chance to read his mind. It seems he allowed himself to be caught on purpose in order to get onto this island. Be caught on purpose? Why? Because the power of a magic hat was protecting this place, evildoers like him can't normally come here. But if it had a plan, he let himself be captured, knowing that he would be brought here. He's practically a genius when it comes to thinking up evil. Who knows to what end such a monster may turn the power turn the power of a magic hat. I tremble just to think of the possibilities. I'm sure he has even more terrible things up his sleeve. That's why I have to get the magic hat back. Yeah, you feel the same, right? You want to get the magic hat back from me, but don't you? Yep, me too. But, but I'm so small, I can't do much without the magic hat. I do a lot of things, though. Uh, so I'm sure I can give you all sorts of useful advice. But what do you say? Let's work together to get the magic hat back. Yeah! Are you hurt? No, I see. Do you understand what you've done? Yeah, you need to think long and hard about this. Okay, and don't go gain any ideas about chasing down Neville yourself. Leave that to the grown-ups, understand? Oh, I guess you should help the other villagers get back on their paws. Okay, I'll teach you some important things to help with that. Blah 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 instructions. Blah blah blah. Already noticed. Blah blah blah. You can check them from menu at any time. For starters, the drugstore had suffered a lot of damage. Go over there and let Pa to the repairs. Okay. He was pretty angry. I know. But if we give up now, it won't be just the village that will suffer. All living things on the island and indeed in the world will suffer it with paws. I can't allow that to happen, can you? No! So let's work together to get the magic hat back from Evelyn. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can have this. Blah blah. Magic Encyclopedia, blah blah blah. Should I even read this? You'll uh, mathly record items and wildlife that you find. Including insects, fish, fish, vegetables, fruits, and flowers. Find enough items to receive a magical reward. I'll date you one more thing that will be vital to making progress on our adventure. Take a look at the map in the bottom screen, right, bottom right of the screen. Yes, I see it. Tutorials. Yeah. See all the symbols on it. I'll explain about some of the important symbols now. The yellow triangle marks your current position. The purple symbol marks the location of somewhere one someone who needs help with something. If you are ever not sure what to do next, head to one of these locations marked in purple. 
The white star marks an animal that has escaped from the zoo. The white ground symbol marks a save point. Blah 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 tutorial blah blah blah. There are other symbols too, but I think that covers the major ones. Knowing that all, what all these symbols mean will help you when you tell everyone else. Remember them well. I've got one more important thing to tell you. Do you know what this is? What is this? This rock has a mysterious power to recall or the deeds of every, anyone who touches it. If you want to save, just touch one of these stones. These stones appear to have other powers as well. But for now, you can only use them for saving your game. Give it a try. Let's start by helping out over at the drugstore. The drugstore is next to your house. See you next time.